This is the key for a Koenigsegg, and the thing I really like about it is this ghost button. If I double press it, this happens. Everything opens up. The engine cover, the front boot, and then finally, we will have the doors. And just look at that, isn't it incredible? Let's just shut it down again. Double press the ghost button. Unlike the normal Yesco attack, which has the key holder here on the dash, because the Sedair Spear doesn't have a gear lever there to help save weight, you have the space for it here. So look, mm. it holds it in magnetically. This car also has upgraded sport seats and check this out, the headrests, if I just, uh, can I do it? Yeah, you can remove them by just sliding them up like that. So it's more comfortable if you're wearing a helmet because this car is designed to perform on track. Other things you need to know, look, we've got six point harness here, but when you don't want to use that and you want to use the normal three point harness, it's just held neatly away there by magnets. This car's amazing paint scheme and it's modeled on a horse apparently. So look, that's why it's a brown color. So you've got metallic brown paint there and then you've got brown carbon fiber. I've never seen anything like this. It looks amazing. Also, there's this green stripe here and some white. Why has it been modeled on a horse? Well, Christian von Koenigsegg's dad used to ride a horse called Sedair's Spear hence the car's name. So the five litre twin turbo V8 has an increase in power. So it's up by 25 horsepower to 1,625 horsepower when you run it on E85 fuel. Now, Kenny Sega has also upgraded the suspension, the dampers, the springs, it's got increased camber, and you've got these wider Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2R tires. The Sedair Spear has a lot of visual upgrades. So have a look at this. You've got this huge front splitter at the front, these canards there. There's a little intake there to force air into the air conditioning system. You've got bigger air vents there to release pressure from underneath the wheels and check out the wheels themselves. Look, carbon fiber and they've got this turbine effect and they suck air in to cool the brakes. Unlike the Esco Attack, you have a little spear there, which is a nod to the car's name. We also have some air intakes there to force air into the five litre twin turbo V8. And there's another intake there, which sends air into the gearbox to cool the oil. Now here at the back, we have an even bigger rear wing than the Yesco Attack. We've got this new diffuser to improve downforce, yet reduce drag, which is a hard thing to do. And despite being larger, it's actually lighter. In fact, this car is 35 kilograms lighter than the Yesco Attack. So how much does the Koenigsegg Sedair Spear cost? Well, it starts from 3.8 million euros, but that's irrelevant because all 30 that will ever be made have been sold out.